to grab that thing with my right arm. Okay, so we are here for for a promo because I'm so excited. <laughs> Did you see all these people? We're, we're going to do a close up or one, but I had to show you this because this is beautiful. And I'm a two year old. <laughs> and this is what I do is get excited about shit. And y'all should be used to that by now. Um, uh, Rumble for a Reason presents Gritter Gauntlet 2. Two. Two. Our second annual. Second. Uh, and if y'all thought I was excited about the first one, <sighs> oh, okay. Can I just, can I, can I just describe to you, uh, my brothers and sisters in Christ? Uh, hey, okay. So we're here. Just introduce yourself, and uh, then, then I'm gonna get on with it. Just, just do this, okay? Thank you. I'm Steve. Uh, Steve Gargas. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, sort of, I guess the, the the brainchild. Uh, oh, whatever. Yeah. Sort of. Sort of. Uh, no, <laughs> this is uh just something that uh, I put together with uh, the help of some awesome people, uh, my friends, my family. One of which is here with yes, us. Yes. Yeah. Wouldn't able to be able to do it without my buddy Travis. Who uh, helped with the first one? Absolutely. Who we mentioned with... in the first interview that we did last year which is why we're coming back this year yep uh my wife definitely who is awesome yes without her support we wouldn't be here at all no nope. she gives the blessing each year <laughs> <laughs> otherwise this wouldn't go through <laughs> uh but yeah uh last year we did it as a fundraiser for the eighth graders going to washington dc okay what is it for this year uh this year we're doing it for the middle school track team Okay. Uh, we're trying to raise money to get them new uniforms. Oh, dope. So uh, the middle schoolers are running in uniforms that are hand-me-downs from the varsity athletes right now. Okay. So we want to get them their own things, give them their own sense of identity. All right. So uh, we've As got... As one should have. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, give them a sense of Viking pride because we're Vikings at Niles. So, you know, got the, the uh, Viking I, merch I, on I like today. It. I like it. So uh, we're, uh, we've got 20... About 28 kids on our are on our squad right now, so we're our goal is to outfit all of them with brand new merch, our brand new gear for next year. So, um, last year our event was vastly successful. It blew everything I could ever imagine out of the water. Um, we were actually able to raise just about two thousand dollars. Nice. So we had, which blew my mind. We had over hundred. We had a hundred kids go to DC. That's so, wonderful. That makes of, my, so heart, my heart so freaking happy. Thinking about that, we were able to give each one of those kids 20 bucks, which, you know, thinking about that, it's it's only 20 bucks, you but that's what? $20 that each one of those kids didn't have. That beats a kick in the head. I mean, yeah. really, it, it beats nothing. Exactly. Which is... mm -hmm. So those kids, that's $20 they didn't have, so right. they could... They could spend it on whatever they wanted. So because that they could have, might have been you know, nothing. souvenirs that they could right. buy themselves something with. That could be snacks. That mm -hmm. could have been whatever they wanted to. So as soon as they got on the bus and they were checked in, their teachers gave them an envelope from Rumble for a reason, and it had a twenty dollars bill in it. That's cool. So yeah, they didn't. No, they could do whatever nice. they wanted that's with nice. that money. So after this event's done, uh, we're going to meet with our middle school track coaches. And I'm going to have a check with whatever we raise and said, coaches, let's order you guys new uniforms. So nice. our goal is if, you know, if we can do better than that, if we can have at least that 2000, if not more, we can outfit our whole squad with new uniforms. That's so really that's nice. tanks, shorts. Um, my goal is the, the one company that I found, we can actually get them uh, tank tops, shorts, and warm ups for 120 bucks a kid. Okay. And that's, custom printed with school logos, everything. Okay. So we can, I think we can do that because last year we had about 400 people through the door. Um, we had 10 matches plus the main event. I mean, that you had less wrestlers last year. We did. Though. We this, did. This is a lot of wrestlers. <laughs> like this, this is, a, is, this is, we had a, a lot of wrestlers. We had, we had uh, I believe, 19 wrestlers last year. Okay. We had 20 matches. Um, this year, we have 10 matches on the card plus the main event. 
Um, so that's 11 matches then. Yep. And then this year we have over 30 wrestlers on the card. So we've increased our wrestler count. So similar card count, but we've increased our tag matches this year. Uh, so uh, that's how we've increased yeah. our wrestlers. One of the reasons I'm very excited is because I see one of my, well, two of my very most favorite tag teams in the entire universe on your poster, which again, I don't know who made the poster first off, because we're gonna start, start plugging people. Oh yeah. Ref Russ uh, from Wrestling Graphics did our poster last year for us and this year. He does an amazing job. Yeah, he does. This. So yeah, um, so if you so need, he, if this done he does he offers his services uh online through uh, actually met him through facebook no kidding so, yep. all right i want to and his I logo is at the very top of our all right on uh, on our flyer so he actually does our main event flyer our actual event flyer and then he does our individual match flyers which come out as we launch our matches too oh so yeah he all does right. an amazing job for us very nice all right, and yeah, because yeah, there's a lot of information on here. Yeah, and sometimes that can be like, but no, it's it's real good. And since he did such a good job, we're gonna go to to our our Niles the Vikings. Obviously, that's what that's that's our school. Yep. Yeah, and all food is gonna be available. Yep. From the culinary club. That's. That's my class. So We've what got, are we going to have? So culinary arts this year. Please say freeze dried candy. Yes, yes. absolutely. That's that's one of Boy. our big things. So last year, uh, oh. culinary arts, uh, we got a brand new freeze dryer. Um, so this year we've been, all last year and this year, we've been experimenting with freeze dried candies. Oh. Um, so we've been working on that. Okay. Uh, this year we just started uh, freeze drying ice cream. So we've been mm. doing freeze dried ice we cream sandwiches. So bad at my, uh, yeah. the gas station that won't be named please bleep that out <laughs> um, well you don't have to worry about that because we do too and we sell it where it's fresh and you don't have to worry about it being old outdated product and it's oh, fresh oh i've and always wanted to try it yeah and, and it's considerably cheaper because we do it and, and it'll benefit you guys exactly and i like that yeah Yay, i can try it finally exactly uh the kids do um skittles um they do jolly ranchers um all sorts of stuff. Um, they've done Starburst. Uh, they really like the uh, Sour Skittles. Um, Laffy Taffy. Saltwater Taffy. So um, we're just now starting to try fresh fruits, which have gone really well. We've done berries in the past. Oh. Um, and then actually in our classroom, we have an aquaponic growing station. So we're gonna actually grow our own strawberries and eventually we won't have them available for the show, but we wanna grow our own strawberries and then uh, freeze, dry freeze dry our own strawberries oh, too. So that's interesting. Yeah. What a, well look, that is such a that's such a good like a business model. For yeah. Me. Sustainability is our, yeah. our goal. Um, one of our other things that Culinary Club will be doing, we'll actually have, you know, canned beverages like they did last year. So we'll have uh, pop and water. Um, but then we do our signature quarter pound chocolate chip cookies. Those, those oh. massive, the, big, <laughs> the, the big QP cookies. Yes. Um, we'll have those. Um, we'll probably do our fruity pebble cereal treats again that night. Um, and then that's pretty much what the culinary arts kids will be doing for that event or for our event. Um, and then, uh, King of the Kettle will be there. Uh, King of the Kettle uh, is a kettle corn company. He'll have okay. a couple different flavors of sweet and savory kettle corn and popcorn out there. Uh, he also has his lemon shakeups, and last year he did fried Oreos. Oh, I remember the lemon yeah. shakeups. Oh yeah, uh, which were hugely popular. Um, and then for actual food, because it's you know lunchtime or late lunch, early dinner when we're there. Uh, yeah, the doors open at one fifteen, right? Correct. Bell time two because it's yep. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday afternoon. So like Sunday, November third. So it's literally like the perfect day and the perfect time yep. to just like go do a wrestling show. Because what do you got to do? It's Sunday at two o'clock. Correct. Go 
get some really good food from Woodstock and Grill, from right? Barbecue. Go support a really good cause. Go watch some really good wrestling. Because let me tell you what, the Den in Twist and Flip, I don't care who they're wrestling. I, I'm, I, I don't care who they're wrestling. I don't care individually. Like, if they're on a card, the entire card is gold because they elevate it. That's all. That's all. If the if the ticket price was fifty dollars and they were both on it, it's worth fifty dollars. But it's not. Do you know why? Because it's it's only general admission is ten ten dollars. Ten dollars in the den and twist and flip is on there along with everybody else. Are you out of your mind? Brother? See what we added this year. Ringside. We did. It's by twenty dollars. What is ringside? So we added popular so like, demand. Oh my god. Sorry. So, so one of the cool things that our school no, I has didn't see that. <laughs> for our for our basketball events, we've got these Sorry. really nice. That's why I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've got these really nice uh, folding chairs, but they're padded, so they've got these oh. really nice cushy seats, backs oh, and bottoms. Wow. And they've got like our embroidered or not embroidered, but like logos on them. Oh. So we have. 48 ringside seats for $20. Yeah, so, if I remember correctly, last year it was just the bleacher seat, right? So, so that's our general admission will less. be bleachers, and we've got upper and lower bleachers, depending okay. on where you'd like to see. They're all available. Kids 13 and under are five. Is only five bucks. Uh, general admission is ten dollars. And ringside. And ringside is twenty. Which is limited to 48 seats. <laughs> so Up early if you want ringside. If you want ringside, no pre sit. No pre-sales on tickets. It's doors open at one fifteen, and it's to say that shit. Huh? Yep, and it's <laughs> cash it. only at the door. You edit that shit out. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, one thing I'm we're working on. The table over. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, we're we had a lot of people ask for ringside seating last year. Um, if I just sit on the floor, <laughs> will you make me move? <laughs> Like a child, I'll sit You're on the floor get up, so. with a blanket. <laughs> but yeah, we're we're excited. Um, I'm so excited though. Yeah, like that. If, if, if y'all don't go to this, like seriously, bleacher seats are perfect. Like I had such a good time last time. The bleacher seats are fine. I'm just being a two year old. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the ringside, you might get sweat on a little bit. I mean, gross. Yeah. <laughs> But like uh, the other people, uh, it's Isaiah Moore. Come on. Sorry, I get a little enamored of the in travesty. I love travesty. Travesty won um, the main event last year. Look, he was he I'm, won the the inaugural Gritter Gauntlet. And Josh, sorry, I love Josh too. And the people I was hating on with their outdated. <laughs> um, Did you see some of the new faces this year? Um. Ish. Besides, I mean, you saw the den. She saw the den, of course. I'm so excited about the den. Um, the one that looks like he'd be a prince in an apocalypse. We got Ashton Adonis. Ash I can't this remember year. his name. I Anthony like him, Lee though. will be joining us this year. Anthony Lee. Yep. I, I know him. Yep. I've seen Dustin Mack is going to join us this I year. I love Dustin Mack, and I'm so happy you're going to have him. Logan Meyer is going to be here this year. I'm happy. I'm. I see you're gonna have um, Jensen. Jensen. And um, oh, for Pete's sake. Ajax. Ajax. Thank you. Oh, yep. oh for Pete's Rory. sake. Rory. Rory Shields. Yep. I love Rory Shields. And that was something we added to the flyer this year, which when you can show the flyer. And the um, refs. The refs. I like that. Yeah, I actually I, really like I'm that. I'm super excited to add the refs to the flyer. Um, Plus, I like Chris. Well, and, and Kai. it's the whole. But it's good. They're a part of it. They're a part They're of a part the of event. The and yeah. that's like what we talked about last year with the the adding and showing respect to everybody. We couldn't do these shows without the rest. Uh -uh. And that's why I wanted to make sure they were on our flyer. Oh, uh, Josh is new this year, too. Josh Morris. I was very excited to see him. I'm always excited to see Josh, really. But Josh is, uh, Josh is going to be working a different style of match this year. So that'll be something you'll get to see. So that's a... Uh, a surprise. You don't say stuff. <laughs> you haven't seen him yet. 
goodness. It'll be fun. Okay. It'll be fun. All right. I promise. I promise. Mm, should be a good time. <sighs> I have to wait till November 3rd. Yes. It'll be oh well worth the wait. Goodness. All right. I'll trust you. You didn't lead me wrong last time. So I I'll try not to. I'll trust, trust you. Oh my Don't goodness. say it like that. That makes me freak out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because last time I was able to show you the belt, and now FedEx is toying with my heart, and I don't have it to show you. FedEx is worse. Yeah, don't say it like that. <laughs> you'll get it. But it, I, it will be you here will, Tuesday. Okay. So no, I'm, I'm literally like 48 time. hours away. We will be insert. And by we, I'll mean not me. It'll be somebody else with tech savviness. Um, we'll be inserting a picture of the really cool belt that we'll be getting in it, a couple days. It's, and by we, I mean it's not. Red Gator this year. Red gator? Yeah. Red alligator. That's wait. It's like, very gritter. Really? That's <laughs> mm -hmm. like real alligator just no. dyed red? Oh no, no, man. No, no. Oh no. 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 Don't be toying with We don't with have that art. kind of budget yet. I was like <laughs> I was both offended and intrigued. No, 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 no. I no was, real I, alligators were harmed in the oh, making of this. I was offended and intrigued. Well, I mean there's alligators can be a nuisance. They're kind of like nah. Not so around I, here. Yeah. Not a big well, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> I don't think you. If I saw a gator coming around me, I'd probably have to deal with it. So yeah, I got. Okay. Then we, that's how we got our belt. Yeah. <laughs> Honest to goodness. You got belts for the next couple of years, fellas. Yep. Okay. And then I would have to have the kids make dinner. Yeah, exactly. And make some two jerky. for one, dude. Yeah, make some jerky out of it. We should have done it that way. Make some armor out of his bones. Oh my god. To goodness. weaponize the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing can Man. be used. You can use the whole thing. We should have done it that way. Yeah. No, maybe yeah, next time. Hunting expedition. Yep. <laughs> oh, this joke. Uh, sorry. <laughs> right. Should have taken my Think about list. Gator, gator uh, <laughs> possibilities. All right. So we have more spot. We have sponsors, right? Yeah. yeah. Because we need sponsors. We because do. Because if we don't have sponsors, then we end up spending all the money we make on our event, and then we don't really make any money. Correct. And then there's no point in having an event, exactly. right? Then it's not a fundraiser. Because, then it's, right. Then, then it's, it's a, a hemorrhage of for then it's a hemorrhage of money. <laughs> Correct. And it might as well be. Then my your wife life, doesn't let me right? do these things. Yes, exactly. So we we happy wife, happy happy life. Correct. Right. Okay. And she lets it. me live. And mm -hmm. we like that. We like you. You're a good guy. So I try. yeah. All right. So we have sponsors. Correct. And the first sponsor I want to do because they printed these out, right? Yeah. Is the UPS store. Because again, I don't really care. UPS. Oh, sorry. Yep. I know, yeah. Look, I know what I'm about. Someone's paying attention. Yes, yeah. and it's me for a change. <laughs> because this is a pretty print. Like again, they're gonna they're somebody's gonna insert a but this is printed nicely. Like the colors look good. Yeah, they did a great job on that. Like that's a for real for real. That's our posters that will be at all of our sponsors and around the community. Uh, those actually go up in about six different counties around the area. Um, those will actually have available at the event oh, for sale as well. That's what I was about to say. I was saying, yeah. if you smart, they're probably going to have these for sale. Yeah. Probably for how much? Uh, five bucks. And if you smart, you you'll sharpie. buy one. Oh, somebody will probably let you borrow a Sharpie. Most people aren't terrible humans. <laughs> and I usually have a Sharpie, and I'm pretty easy to spot. And you can buy one of these for $5, which, again, this and this is pretty quality. And go around and have people sign it. Use the other arm. I don't. I'm right-hand <laughs> dominant, and I don't use my brain much. Um, and to have people sign it, and then there you go. It's a five dollar like keepsake dope souvenir, and you can put it in a frame, and you know it's signed. And then look at there. They're eleven by seventeen. You can order the frame on Amazon for eight bucks. Look at look at you. Because <laughs> mine's framed from last year. <laughs> See, you know what your life is about. I do. It's hanging up proudly behind my desk at school, and my kids are like. That's and cool. then if you don't really care if you can see their signatures, because I like to see people's signatures, you can have them sign the front, like a, like a plead, I guess, or whatever. Okay, so sponsors. Again, we got the Woods. Woodstock and Grill. I cannot with these. It's that's, their, that's our food truck. Woodstock and Grill. Yep. 
So they're bring they're doing they'll, food they'll have for the food. us. Yeah, they'll and have the food they're truck. sponsoring. Yep. Nice. Yep. All right. And they actually feed the wrestlers too. Yeah. See, so let me tell you something. Even though you're only a promotion twice a year, okay? Once a year. Well, this is my second time. I, that's, sorry. Yeah, I know what you meant. You've only been a promotion twice, once a year, okay? I appreciate promotions that treat their wrestlers good. And you treat your wrestlers good. And you feed your wrestlers. Well, our wrestlers take care of us. Which take care of help us help kids, so that's why we do it. Thank you. Okay. I just want to say thank you. That's all. So and it's because these sponsors that we're able to do this. You're you're they're gonna be outside. Like you don't even need to to go to the wrestling to come. If you get just the want food, barbecue, right? yeah. If you just want if you just want some kick ass barbecue, you Woodstock can and Grill. Me out. Right, like you can edit a piece. Of me. Can you edit a piece of me out of the interview? Right. Uh, what do you mean? Like, so Sunday, November third. What time is the the food truck gonna be there? Uh, they'll probably be there by noon. Yeah. All right, and the show's gonna run through. Like, what time do you think they're gonna leave? The food truck. Mm -hmm. He'll probably be done by. He'll probably be sold out by fourish. All right, so Sunday, November 3rd, if you're in the area of uh, the Niles High School Gymnasium, Niles, Michigan, and you want good food and you want to support people and not be like, I don't know, a douche nugget, because <laughs> um, you don't want to be a douche nugget, trust me, um, you should go and buy food at, at the Woodstock and Grill uh, food Cart, food, truck, truck. Thank yeah. you. It's a vintage Volkswagen. Sometimes my brain doesn't work all the way. Just go. You don't even have to go to the wrestling. If you're not in the wrestling, that's fine. I don't really care. You're missing out on. A cool I mean, show. it's dumb to not be because it's literally like athletics and a in a like a story. Like it's not really. People say soap opera, and it's kind of soap opera ish, but it's not really. It's like. Oh, God, it's like a Marvel movie on speed with action. Because Marvel movies don't really have that much action. It's like drama. I don't care. But anyway, so like great. Just support and go just go eat the food. He can edit that <laughs> up. All right. So Air Lux, heating, heating and, cool, and cooling. HVAC. They are a great sponsor. Yep. It's, it's their second year being back as well if you need any help with your heating and cooling systems you should go to them yep nate call yes. nate he'll hook you up and sketch studios you were telling me about that yeah Tell so me about them. uh sketch studios it's uh you said they were holland uh st joe ben saint harbor joe area Dane. um it's uh well, two young gentlemen everything. uh they'll actually be on site that day uh they're filming our event uh and they're yes. actually gonna film their matches and stuff and, and then they're gonna they're you. gonna make a yes. promo video for from our event for us um and uh the one young gentleman uh it's they make videos movies and it's a production company um and i used to work with one of the young gentlemen that own the company and he's reaching out and he's helping up their that's their their business motto is they're working with upstart fellow upstarts and they're trying to, you know, help out their community. And that's what a lot of this is, is, you know, just good people taking care of good people. So we're excited to reach out with them and see where we can go. That's really so dope. It, I we're like excited that. for them to come down and see what happens. And we have Red Coach Donuts. Oh, where, yeah. where are they? They're out of Stevensville. Are uh, they going to have things for sale? So they're not going to have things for oh, sale, but they're one of our biggest sponsors are they um and actually the the wrestling staff is super excited about them because uh i go up to red coach the morning of the event and get fresh made donuts so as soon as the ring is set up everybody gets fresh made donuts oh, that morning so that's uh, so nice of you sam and steph uh generously sponsor our event each year and then we bring them fresh everybody who's working that day gets fresh made donuts from their shop. So you give them donuts and you feed them. Yeah. So you feed them sort of like one and a half. Sort yeah. 
But if you've had Red Coach Donuts, it's totally a whole meal on its own. Is it? Oh, yeah. They do savory pastries now, too. Oh, yeah. Red Coach is a destination. Are they going to be open, like, one fifteen? What time do they close? Uh, They usually sell out probably by 11 or 12 on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah it's... So if you want to stop there, you'd want to... Red Coach you'd is... You'd want to get there earlier than... We get there at 7 a.m. on Sunday. Holy just so... Yeah, right. that's when they open. All right. But if you want top selection, you get there when they open. Okay. It's They do amazing stuff. But it's in Niles, I'm assuming. Uh, in Stevensville. Oh, Stevensville. So, yeah, it's like okay. a, a 35, 40-minute drive from here. Oh, okay. You know, if you're doing the speed limit. So, I generally do. It, it's recommended, highly recommended you do the speed limit. I generally uh, do. But, yes, it's uh, uh, Sam and Steph both used to live in Niles. Okay. Um, and they're just... Uh, Red Coach is actually on my advisor or on our advisory committee for the culinary arts class. Oh, all right. So as local, local well, that's so nice. restaurant okay. tours, uh, and just great business people. So they support all the area. So not all just right. their town, but the surrounding that's area as well. I love that so much. Yeah. The more I hear about this, like the the lovelier it gets. Yeah, lots of lots of great people help this event happen yeah no it makes my heart happy and then on base productions which is where we are at. today yeah yep on base productions nice enough to lend us their studio space today stupidly nice yeah like so nice yeah awesome space like so nice <laughs> and they'll have I their, love you they'll have their photo booth again at the event uh, at Rumble for a reason. They had their photo booth there last year and they'll have it again this year. So make sure you stop by the photo booth, get your pictures taken. And he these kids are deserving people it. People in the community because these are a lot of sponsors and we're going Lots of new sponsors this year too. Yes. Okay. So because I have a. No. Second Main Cafe. Okay. Thank they're, you. Uh, they're a new sponsor this year. Uh, so they're a downtown business here in Niles. Um, okay. They're on our advisory Speaking committee as well this sponsors. year. Okay. Uh, so it's a cafe and uh, coffee shop downtown. Okay. They actually offer uh, food as well, some small bites, uh, lots of different toasts and things like that too. Oh. Uh, little pizzas and stuff, little cool uh, sandwiches and breakfast and stuff. It's really cool spots to check out. Um, and then they've actually opened up like an incubator style kitchen on – I believe it's third street right yeah yeah, yeah. so it, lots of stuff coming out of that business group right now they're doing a lot of different things um just lots of really cool stuff coming out of the second main group right now so okay and super in tune with things going on in the community so it's really nice like really big business partners with the community so it's excited to have them be part of our event I'm glad. And then the State Farm. Yeah, Jessica Massey okay. at State Farm. Yeah. So she's back again this year. I excited. remember. Yeah, excited to have them back again. They're excited. I When we stopped in and talked at the uh, the insurance office, everybody was super excited. They're like, oh, we're going to be back. And they, they mentioned a couple wrestlers by name to make sure that they were going to be back. And they oh, were, they were that's, uh, that's as they cool. would say on uh, the, the old SNL, they were verklempt to see a couple of the wrestlers oh, again. Oh, Funny. So we won't mention any names, <laughs> but they were excited to see a couple of the gentlemen. <laughs> so there, there, there's a couple I'll other gentlemen. There's a couple other gentlemen that they'll be very impressed with this year. So, <laughs> but, uh, I'm about that Iron Shoe Distillery. Yeah, Iron yeah. Shoe yep. Distillery. Yeah. Way to bring um, that circle up back. I appreciate I that. I love yeah. you so much. I got you guys. Great Iron Shoe Distillery. Iron Shoe's back for her second year. Yeah. I remember them being there. Yep. I'm glad that they came back. Yeah. And we got Pizza Transit back again as an anchor sponsor. Uh, thanks, Sarah, for coming back. We appreciate her. And we have Village, The Village Pizza. The Village Pizza. That's a new company this year. Oh, good. Uh, they just opened up. And they were Where are they? weeks ago, right? Uh, they're actually oh, really? in Niles. Yeah, they just oh, wow. opened, it well, just, good for them. just opened up and willing to be a community sponsor. Wow, yeah, that is yeah. wow, that is really saying something because that's scary to just open. Mm -hmm. I can't even imagine. And they're actually they're not even in the city limits. They're south of town. So where are south of Niles uh, in Niles Township? The Village Pizza. Yep. Look, 
I don't care if only one person ever hears this. Y'all need to go buy pizza from that place because that's some real ballers. That, mm. All of these for places real. for sure. For serious. On, on, for real. Did I miss any sponsors? Because I don't want to miss anybody. I think we got them all. Holla and Luya. I said well, that's all of our businesses. Uh, I do have to shout out the Nelson oh, yeah. family. Okay. Uh, the Nelson family. Oh, yes. And I'm not going to shout out my family, but. No, no, yes, we are. When we're done no. with the Nelson family. Yes, and nah. Didi. Yeah. <laughs> what are you in real life? Nelson family. The Nelson family. Uh, they are supporters of us every single year. Yes. Uh, Chuck, Jessica, and the kids, the, the family, they support us in what we do. Um, so we appreciate them 100%. Yes, no, shout out 100%. Also, uh, it's really important uh, that it needs to be noted that uh, Hank is the man. Hank is the man. When I grow up, I want to be like Hank. Yeah. I don't know if I ever want to grow up, but Hank is badass. Yeah, Hank rules. That'll be, uh, yeah, that'll make sense for, for Hank when he, see, when he hears this. Okay. Yeah. Well, if they both say it, mm -hmm. then I 150% agree. Do yourself a favor. Check out Hank. Mm -hmm. Like, look, mm -hmm. look up his performances. Well, very talented musician. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah. Hank. phenomenal. Hank Nelson. Hank Nelson. Hank Nelson? Mm -hmm. Like, okay. very talented. Super talented. I will mm -hmm. look as soon as I get up. Yeah. yeah. We're big fans. Yeah. Okay. Nelson Family Radio Hour. Mm -hmm. Classic. Lots of, lots of classic entertainment on there. Okay. Just a lovely family. Really wonderful people. Well, I can, I know that I'm going to agree because I don't think I've ever not agreed with anything that you've said and you've never led me wrong yet. So. I try not to. So, you're going to have to tell me the name again because I've already forgotten. Because no. There you go. Singing Gritter. Yep. Singing Gritter. But good. Yeah. And, and more, more style than I could ever want. Like, oh, he's got so much style. Oh, so fashionable. And well traveled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And cruel. I'm very intrigued. Yeah. And a special shout out also. Do it. Thank oh, you. the Gargas oh, family. To, yes. Thank you. To the Gargas family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. April and Thomas. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Steve. And thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and Steve. Mm -hmm. He's involved too. Yes. A little bit. <laughs> I guess this would be my midlife what about crisis. The cats? You didn't mention the cats. Oh, yeah. oh my oh, god. You <gasps> can't forget the cats. Well, yeah. last, thank you so much. Goodness gracious. Our, See, home, that's why our, we're home, here. our home for the wayward cats. No, I love y'all. <laughs> yeah, but come to the show or uh, face dire consequences. Yeah. Rumor has it Chad Nails is digging his way out of hell for it. God, oh, good lord. He's going to try. Yeah. Just come anyway. We might have to send it back to hell. Yeah, come anyway. Don't let that deter you from coming. You know that that actually looks a little more like his uh, his cousin Chad Hammers. Ha ha ha! They look very similar. Cousin? Um, yeah. Is that a third cousin? 